Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is salt, the basic ingredient of every kitchen. Uh, the, the ingredient that every chef relies upon to make his food taste good. Um, I had a chef who worked here, uh, I don't know, four chefs ago, a while ago, five years ago, six years ago, and he wanted me to change my salt. He said, I, Marcus, I can't use the salt, the salt. This goes, it doesn't dissolve all the way in, um, doesn't dissolve all the way, and it's dirty. I, I, I want my salt to be white. I don't want the salt to be seen on the food. When I salt something, I don't want to have specks. And I explained to him, and I've heard this all throughout my culinary career, chefs don't like salt in its unnatural, in its, I'm sorry, in its natural, unrefined um, form. They don't like salt with specks in it. They don't like gray salt. They don't like these salts. Um, they want they want super white, highly processed salt. So that, that's what a chef thinks good salt is. Salt that's pure white, highly bleached, high, how, however, they, however they, they refine the salt to get it white, super white, and super clean. That's how chefs like their salt. And unfortunately, that's the worst type of salt for you. That salt has been through so much processing and stripping, demineralization, and that's where they say when salt is bad for you, that's the kind of salt that's very bad for you. That salt is toxic to your body, okay? The salt that, that we use, the salt that I recommend is salt that has trace minerals intact, that's unheated. Um, you know, let's face it, we do need to, we, as Americans, as a, as a society in general, we eat way too much salt. So if you're going to eat salt, you should be using a better salt. So our salt has uh, all kinds of speckles through it and it doesn't dissolve all the way in water. That's because there's up to a certain percentage, 1%, 2% of silica in it that won't dissolve. But these aren't stripped out of the mine. We actually use real salt, Redmond real salt, but there's several other salts out there that are high in minerals and that they don't strip. And it, the salt actually looks dirty, but the salt is not dirty. Those are the mineral, that's the mineral content of the salt. Okay, so for the chef who worked for me, he didn't like that because he didn't understand. And this is my basic point in a lot of my videos that chefs aren't taught about nutrition and health. They don't care about health. They just care about putting food up that looks good and tastes good and disregarding all of the other elements that make a, that make a healthy food. Now, this is something so simple to be using salt that has a higher quality mineral content or a higher quality salt. It's something that's so easy to do, but chefs don't want to do it, most chefs, because that's not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be conducive to their food. It's not gonna make their food look good. And it's really not much of a difference at all. It just has some specs to it. There's pink salt, um, Himalayan pink salt, which has a, has a pink hue to it. Now, in the last several years, chefs have gotten more more excited about these kind of salts. But as a general, general, general rule, that's not the main salt that they're using throughout their cooking. That might be like a finishing salt or it might be a salt on a special dish, but they're still using like highly refined and processed kosher salt. Um, or even even worse, iodized table salt. Now, iodized table salt and kosher salt are really just, it's the same salt. But chefs like kosher salt because of the thick granulars. They like to be able to pick it up with their hands and know that they're feeling something. That the iodized salt is so small that you can't pick it up with your with your fingers and use it as well as kosher salt. So that's why chefs really gravitate towards kosher salt. Um, and I don't care if the kosher salt says sea kosher salt or whatever. All salt comes from the sea. Okay, it's just a matter of where where you mine it and how you process it. It's it's all it's 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 all a big, it, sea salt can be a big big gimmick. You want your gimmick. You really want to find salt that's really unrefined, unsolared, unheated, unprocessed, unstripped things like that. So uh, my suggestion is a real salt uh, from the uh, from Redmond. Uh, the real salt is phenomenal. Over sixty minerals in it. Uh, really awesome. Go on their website. Check it out. That's the salt that I use. But that's what chef's mentality is, and it's just, real, it's just kills me. And this chef was very insistent. He goes, this is ruining my food, Marcus. I, I, I don't want to put the salt on my food. It's like, really? You don't want to put the salt on your food? You don't want to put a better high quality salt? And that's, you know, that's where most chef's mentality is, and it's just, it's a shame. Um, so I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Just a little insight on, um, on some chefs, some chefs, not all chefs, just some chefs. And these are chefs that are cooking it really nice restaurants, upscale restaurants. These are restaurants that are charging you a lot of money for their food. Um, granted, real salt, these other good salts, do cost more, two, three, four, five times the price. 
Um, but again, you know, the chef needs to be serious and understand what they're serving to be able to appreciate uh, these ingredients, especially something as basic as salt. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and pass it on.